being able to maintain visibility on your bill and controlling costs is absolutely a critical part of cloud governance. Let's take a look at how to enable programmatic billing management through the AWS Management Console. I've logged myself into the Management Console as my CBT admin user, and I was just sitting there kind of poking around doing some administrative checking, uh, went over to look at my bill, and I saw I had this really uh, nasty error. Here we go. You need permissions. You don't have permission to access billing information for this account. Ouch, AWS. My feelings are hurt. So. This CBT admin, if we take a look at their permissions, all right, so here's my user, CBT admin, and I gave them the full administrative access policy for AWS. Look at this thing right here. Ooh, allow all actions on all resources. It seems to me like I should be able to do my billing and management. This is where things get a little crazy. With billing administration, by default, it's a root only option. That means that I need to go in and actually uh, make two specific changes to allow my CBT admin user to actually administer the bill. So to get this set up, I'm going to start by switching to my root user. Switch it to my root. It is important that you sing the switching to the root song. Sometimes it doesn't work properly. A lot. All right. Grab my little Google Authenticator here. Thanks, Google. Very happy. MFA added. Great. So I've logged myself in now as root, and I'm going to go into billing first. And indeed, Amazon actually leaves a nice little notice for us. If we scroll on down here to our notifications, you'll see down on the bottom it says IAM access to your account's billing information is not enabled. Boo! So we can enable it using the account information page. So let's jump over there. On the account information page, get this, it has some basic information about your account. And if we scroll down about middle way, you'll see a section that says IAM user and role access to billing information. Cool, and you can see it is deactivated. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit edit there, and I'm gonna say activate IAM access. We'll say update. Cool, looking pretty good. So if I jump back over to my other CBT admin user, I should be able to get into my billing details now without that nasty error. All right, I'm logging in as my CBT admin user now. And indeed, if we jump over to billing, we should be able to check this out now as well. And yep, it works, looks pretty good. And down at the bottom, you can see my little IAM billing alert thing has disappeared as well. So we did it. We successfully enabled identity and access management uh, administration for other users besides root. Now, remember folks, you still have a number of billing permissions that you can deal with as well. Over in identity and access management, if we go to policies and we look at some of the managed policies that AWS provides, I can just type in bill here and there is a billing job function policy that they've built. And indeed, if we open that up, you can see that there are some specific commands that allow us to work with it. So actions down here, AWS billing console, also the AWS portal, Okay, and also some of the other budget sections that are in there as well. So this policy would just give somebody the ability to have billing administration. It wouldn't grant privileges to any of the other AWS services. Now, CBT admin was set up with a policy that grants him all resources and all actions. So all we really had to do was change that one particular account level setting, and uh, CBT admin was good to go. The easiest way to use this particular policy would be to go over Build yourself a group. So we'll go ahead and set up a new group here and we can call this billing admins there. Boom, next step. We'll find that same bill job function policy I was just talking about and attach that to the group as well. And then we'll go ahead and finish creating the group. So now I have a billing admins group and I can add any users that I want to have those permissions to it and away they go. For more information, you can take a look online, AWS billing management. And indeed, if we scroll down a little bit there, we can find the user documentation for billing and cost management. Here you'll find useful information about how to configure shared administration of your billing details, also how to set up budgets and control access to your billing management consoles as well. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.